For that, first we will create a virtual environment and inside that environment we will install this matplotlib library because it is a good practice that we create virtual environment for each separate project so we will also create the virtual environment first and then we will install and for that the python should be installed in your machine let me show you how you can verify whether the python is installed in your machine or not so i would write python 3 space hyphen hyphen version this particular command on a terminal and i would hit enter if you also get this type of output which would mean that python is installed in your machine the version might be a little bit different but you should not get any error in the output of this particular command if you get any error or if python is not installed in your machine then you can refer another video which is available on this particular channel itself and the link of that video you would find in the description below to create the virtual environment we will go to the folder where we want to create the virtual environment so for this video i want to create the virtual environment in the downloads folder and here i would run one command to create the virtual environment so i would say python 3 space minus m v e n v which is virtual environment and i would give the name of the virtual environment which i want to create here so let's say the virtual environment name i want to give is mpl underscore install and i would hit enter now so the environment is created now here you can see mpl underscore install folder is present and inside this folder you would see this type of folder and file are also present now in order to use this particular environment we will have to activate this first and for that we will have to source one file which is present inside this bin directory so if i show you that file also so you would see this activate file is present so we will have to source this activate file in our terminal here i would say source and i would have to give the absolute path of that activate file so i would say mpl underscore install and i would say bin then i would name the file which is activate and i would hit the enter now now the environment is activated because as you can see here mpl underscore install is written here which means this particular environment is activated now let's now go ahead and install this matplotlib library so we would use pip here so i would say pip install and mat plot lib and i would hit enter now so the installation has begun and the installation is successful because you can see this particular message here successfully installed and these many packages are installed now within this mpl underscore install virtual environment let's now see whether the installation is proper or not for that let me clear the screen first and I would list down all the packages which are installed in this mpl underscore install environment. For that I would say pip list and here we will look for the matplotlib library. So here this is matplotlib and which has the version 3.8.3. .3. Let's now try to use this matplotlib library in a python script. So I would open up the python shell. So I would say python3 and I would hit enter. Now we are in the python shell. Now I would try to import this library which is matplotlib so I would say import matplotlib and I would hit enter and after hitting the enter if we do not get any error which would mean that this particular library is installed properly and it is ready to use. So we did not get any error which means the library is installed properly. Let's now print the version of this matplotlib and dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore and i would hit enter so we can see the version of this is 3.8.3 .3, which is same as this one so which means it is installed properly and it is ready to use let's now exit from this shell and i would say exit and let's now go out of this particular environment also for that i would say deactivate so that we will come out of this mpl underscore install environment so we have come out of this environment. I hope the video was useful to you.